So today I'm going to show you some tricks that you can use in JIRA to increase your day-to-day -day productivity when you're using a tool. The first thing that I want to show you is that on the plan board you can use the J and the K key uh, to navigate uh, across the different issues. Um, so if I press J it goes down and advances one issue. If I press K uh, it goes up uh, one issue. Um, and that's really handy for navigating issues quickly that are at the top of your backlog. Um, the second thing that I was going to show you is that if you press uh, E on your keyboard, you can open an issue for editing. And then, of course, you can press the tab button on your keyboard uh, to move to the various fields. And if you press um, you know, the first letter of whatever the option is inside of the current field, it'll give you the option. So here I pressed M for medium. I can press Enter and then Enter once more and it'll automatically save those changes. Uh, you can also press O on the keyboard to open an issue in the same tab, um, but I usually don't do that um, because I'd rather just open a quick, uh, an issue for quick editing and then close and go back to the plan board. Um, the next cool thing that you can do is you can press A for an issue to assign it. Um, so in this case, I'm gonna assign this issue, press enter, and it's reassigned it. Um, you can also press C on the keyboard to comment on an issue. Oh. That didn't, um, uh, that didn't work. Um, sorry, comment is M, uh, my mistake. Um, C actually uh, creates a brand new issue for you. And I was gonna show that after this. Um, so anyway, M is, is the comment functionality, so I'm gonna add comment here. Um, and then I don't think you can press enter to save this because it allows you to uh, have line breaks there. But anyways, you press add and then it adds that comment. Um, Let's see, if you want to assign an issue to you, sometimes this is handy if you have a whole bunch of issues in your backlog as a product owner um, and you just want to assign them all to you, um, but you're not going to do a bulk edit, you can press I and that just quickly assigns the issue to you. Okay, and then um, finally, uh, if you press C at any point, which we've kind of already showed, uh, it allows you to create an issue uh, right there. Um, and then uh, you probably already know this, but one of the, the best things about Jira is, is create another checkbox. If you're creating a whole bunch of similar issues or user stories that are part of an epic, you can check this off. And then um, most of the settings that you selected for the first issue or the, the issue just prior to the one that you're currently creating will be uh, kept the same. And, um, and that just uh, speeds you up and makes it really fast to create a bunch of similar user stories. And that is, um, actually, no, let me show you some other things here. Okay, so um, let's say I have, um, where is it? I'm going to open this example of Jira user story. Um, and that's another kind of handy thing. If, if you work on a Mac, you can always press Command, or if you're on a PC, you can press Control, I think. Uh, command and, and, uh, and click will open your issues in a new tab. Um, so. If we go to the description, um, one thing that I use a lot is uh, a Jira Markdown. Um, it's uh, it's really simple. So, you know, you could you could just write, let's say something like this. Let's write user store. This is a, a title or a section heading, and then I'm gonna write acceptance criteria. Um, and what you could do is use your mouse to highlight this and click bold. Um, but as you can see, really all it does is put acceptance criteria. I'm sorry, it puts uh, asterisks next to it. Uh, to, to actually do that. So when you create it yourself, which must, it's, it's much faster if you just go to user story, put your asterisk, and then down here, you put acceptance criteria, uh, and then in user story, I'm going to put some, I'll just say, as a, well, you know, whatever role user, I want to dot dot dot, right? So our standard format. We go down here, and the other cool thing is you can um, you can create an ordered list by simply uh, putting uh, a hash mark and then your first you know acceptance criteria. Press return and it automatically puts another hash in there. Uh, it's your second, and then if you uh, do another, you can indent these. Oops, I put another hash there. You have to have a space after the second hash before. Um, uh, second first before whatever uh, text you have, and then I'm gonna come back down here and I'm gonna do third. And um, if we save that, and you see uh, it comes out very nicely formatted. 
uh, and it's super easy to do. And you can also, uh, so I have another uh, section here, you can also um, use the asterisk or this, the star button to create an unordered list. So this would be you know, something and this would be another thing, right? And if I save that, you can see that I have uh, a bulleted list here. And that covers uh, pretty much what I want to show you today.